Hello and uh, welcome back to the NHL Best Bets. Yesterday there were only one game um, on the schedule and um, we picked um, their uh, winner in um, our pick. So uh, the winner was um, quite, let's say, clear numbers. Uh, Florida, oh, not Florida, but uh, Vancouver and uh, here you can see that um, odds were also reasonable for home favorite. Um, result was 7-1. And um, even though the game was um, reasonably even from the shot point of view, I think it was uh, uh, shots um, equal distributed between Ottawa and Vancouver, the goal numbers didn't uh, show the same. How was the game, Tommy? Was it a um, one-way street, um, like 7-1 indicates, or was it more even? Yeah, the game was a lot more even than 7-1 indicates. Of course, Vancouver was uh, the better team, but uh, the, the scoreline of 7-1 is not exactly the truth. Um, the Ottawa defensively was very, very, uh, very bad. Uh, they allowed a lot of uh, scoring chances in front of the goal. And of course, then Vancouver also converted with a good percentage. Uh, Brandon Sutter scored a hat-trick first of his career after some 800 games. So uh, that was something there. And uh, also uh, our favorites, uh, Oli Juolevi, a Finnish defender of Vancouver, also scored his first NHL goal. So good luck to those guys and congratulations. Um, otherwise, I think our pick was still uh, very, very good. We knew that Vancouver is going to bounce back from a couple of bad results and uh, Ottawa is not quite prepared for uh, for this level of playing yet. So it kind of showed in there. They got a lot of shots, but uh, Vancouver was a lot better defensively to box out the, the number, number one sector and the scoring chances were quite limited after all. So uh, not a lot of... Uh, a lot of um, Difficult saves for uh, Thatcher Demko in uh, Vancouver net. And in the other end, then Matt Murray was left quite alone by his uh, defense. So um, not a lot to fault there. Maybe a couple of goals that he could have saved, but wouldn't really change the scoreline after all. So a very good big pick from us, a good return to the uh, profitable selections from us. So let's keep it going. Yep. Um, like I said, it was only game last night, but um, today's. Uh new day there is a 14 games uh, scheduled and uh, of course a um, lot to bet but um, if we first go quickly through the picks that we selected for today and then we can go through other games uh, where we can see some value but um, we'll start from the game between uh, St. Louis and Las Vegas um, both teams um, are predicted to be top of the division together with uh, Colorado, but um, Vegas has struggled a bit with uh, scoring their results. Um, when they have won a game, they haven't scored um, over uh, three goals, I think only once so far this season, or twice against Col uh, Coyotes, but then last one was 1-0 when William Carson scored at the last minute the winner. And, um, at the same time, uh, St. Louis, uh, that has been a quite good defensive team, has struggled defensively. They have allowed um, six goals against uh, LA Kings a few nights ago, uh, eight goals against Colorado the, uh, during the start of the season or first uh, series of the season. But um, I think um, there is still um, quite a bit uh, room for improvement in St. Louis defense and they should start that improvement today. Also the odds uh, for this under 5.5 is um, pretty good um, plus 120 so that is also part of the uh, reason why we picked um, this um, bet. And another one like um, Tommy's uh, jersey shows uh, Florida visits Columbus. Um, Florida has played two games. They won both um, games against Chicago Blackhawks and now their first um, road game the season in um, Columbus. Uh, Florida is a clear favorite in our simulations, 55% against uh, Columbus, uh, 45 and the odds also 
are pretty good uh, plus 29 129 that uh, it gives um, over 10 percent um, side value or expected value for florida in this game <clears throat> it's always a bit long shot to bet um, road underdog but uh, here two games um, and um, Sergei Bobrovsky, who made his um, uh, marks in Colo uh, Columbus earlier, is returning to the home, former home arena. We expect him to shoot out um, Columbus tonight. Both of these picks are very good for the value they present in the uh, high odds for both of them. San Luis and uh, Vegas, of course, possibly the two best defensive teams in the league. San Luis, of course, has had their problems. Like we uh, mentioned earlier, they've allowed a lot of goals, which is something that they should not do with that sort of defensive core they have. Uh, so expecting to have a lot of tighter boxing out of the uh, the players of Vegas. And Vegas, of course, as anticipated somewhat, was that they, uh, they were struggling to score goals last season's playoffs. That's why they went out. And this season's continued a little bit in that trend that they are creating chances but failing to score, which is interesting because they do have these guys who are able to score the 20, 30 goals in a regular season in, in normal circumstances. So a very good under there. I think it's going to be a, a very, very close one, maybe even a one nothing, 2 nothing kind of game. Um, and then just to uh, to add to your uh, Florida Panthers or our Florida Panthers there, uh, started the season pretty well against uh, uh, Chicago. Of course, Chicago, not that um, big favorite in, in any way, but also Columbus. They beat Tampa Bay last time around. Uh, very, very good effort from them. Um, of course, the trades then affecting a little bit. They are still out of those guys who came from Winnipeg. So no Patrick Laine or um, Jack Roslovich in the lineup so um, Florida has a little bit better quality team their system should fit pretty well against Tortorella's um, grinding hockey so let's look for Alexander Parkov and uh, Jonathan Haberdeau to do their their magic against this Columbus team so I think this one again even if it is a road underdog according to the odds um, I think uh, we should do well with the with this bet yeah, Florida hasn't um, been able to play so well against Columbus in the past, but uh, what is uh, uh, quite good uh, statistic here is that uh, when they have played their first um, road game, they have played that much, much better than on average on the road. So that has been um, good for them. And like I said, this is their first uh, road game of the season. So I think this should um, back up the selection from the statistical point of view as well. How about any other games? Uh, like I said, there is a lot of games now um, scheduled tonight. Um, there is a few of uh, home underdogs that um, we think um, should have some value, but um, which one you think uh, would make sense to check um, before the game with the correct lineup and, and maybe make some additional bets? Yeah, there are a couple of those, and, and the first look to simulation shows that a lot of these games are 50-50, uh, closer to 50-50 in our simulations than the odds indicate. So the odds are favoring the other team a lot more than um, in our simulations. So let's take a look at, for example, uh, the game in uh, Washington. Washington Capitals is hosting New York Islanders. Washington still without their, uh, their Russian quartet there but uh, much closer to 50-50. The odds uh, favor New York Islanders for about 56%. Uh, but Washington is a better team, no question about it. But of course, missing out those star players is affecting some, but still the simulations indicate that game to be exactly at 50%. So there is a, a home underdog that could be a, a good bet as well. Um, have a look if there is any changes in New York Islanders lineup. Um, if not, then maybe stay away. But they might also be missing some players, especially from the D. And uh, who starts in the goal is a question mark for them as well. Um, then there were a couple of other ones that we pondered. Was our uh, favorite uh, Chicago Blackhawks, who's the, the team has done pretty well uh, for our simulations. They've been better than many anticipated. Um, and then Nashville is the host in that game. Also, we have Nashville winning it for 50 
0.2%, uh, but the odds indicate Nash will about 60% favorite. So we have it again as a coin flip. So uh, looking for this away underdog this time would be a, a Chicago a nice pick there if Kevin Lankinen is playing in the goal like we uh, last time were uh, picking him up as one of the, the stabilizing players in the Blackhawks roster for their goaltending, which has been very questionable. So maybe there is a, a little bit more stability in that regard for the Chicago Blackhawks. Uh, was there some other games you wanted to highlight from this round? Um, yeah, a few comments for these ones that you picked um, from the, let's say, stats point of view. Washington hasn't been any great uh, matchup against um, Islanders, especially at home, because um, they faced um, overall 17 times um, during the last three seasons. And uh, at home, Washington has been able to win only 22% of the games against Islanders, uh, while all the overall home win percentage for them is 60 percent so um islanders has been difficult visitor for washington in the past and then for chicago um they have uh, faced um, nashville also 12 times during the last three seasons um away the win percentage is 33 uh, percent and and this is their first home game uh, sorry, first away game after a few home games. So uh, the win percentage for this first road game in the past for them has been 35% when their overall road win percent has been 40. So these are some statistical uh, nuggets that uh, are uh, maybe reasoning against making these bets. But um, like I said, it would be good to check them lineups and and see what kind of uh, goalies and who are playing in this um, evening a few other games um, we selected a uh, few nights ago winnipeg against oilers uh, there's a rematch small value for the winnipeg in this 50 50 game both from the simulations point of view as well as odds are also indicating very even game um, I think uh, there Dubois is not playing yet, so Winnipeg has not uh, full fully loaded uh, lineup um, as they hope to have in the near future. And um, then one other game, maybe in New Jersey visiting. Um, no, New Jersey getting Philadelphia as a visitor. Philadelphia has been better team. Um, we also predicted them to win the division, but uh, New Jersey has been maybe one of the surprise teams. Um, they have played uh, pretty well, and um, they are here home underdog um, with quite high odds, plus thirty, plus hundred and thirty-seven, with um, our simulations indicating forty-six and a half percent win probability. So, like I said, um, home underdog in this odds and uh, our numbers, but a um, reasonable side value there for the Devils. Yeah, that's a good game to check as well. The goaltending situation, I think it might be that Philadelphia will start Brian Elliott uh, in the goal um, and also New Jersey with Mackenzie Blackwood out. Um, they are playing probably Scott Wedgwood, but might be Aaron Dale as well if he's cleared to play. So quite a lot of question marks there. Of course, New Jersey at home. Uh, sounds like a good bet, especially with this uh, quite high uh, value in the odds. So I would take a look at the lineups and the starting goaltenders before doing decisions, but uh, something to keep an eye out. Yep. Um, how about any other games? Um, Arizona was defeated by Vegas uh, just 1-0 at home. Now they get um, Anaheim, who won Colorado 3-1 to one in their home game. Um, what do you think about that game? Yeah, Arizona is uh, favorites here in the simulations for quite some margin compared to the odds. Um, I think it's going to be a very low scoring game. Uh, possible of uh, The possibility of getting into overtime is a bit higher than usual because of both teams play quite tight defense and uh, maybe not scoring that many goals. Kind of grinding teams as well. So. 
um, there is a bit of a risk of this uh, coin flip of uh, overtime or the shootout. So don't want to make any selections there. But the simulations are definitely favoring um, Arizona there compared to the odds. Um, Arizona, of course, played really well against uh, Vegas when they lost only by one goal. So uh, something to, to look out for as well is the rising Arizona young stars if they, well, not even stars, just <laughs> very, very uh, basic core players. But they've been playing pretty well and uh, they have a lot of energy. So it's a, it's a tough matchup for any team. Yep, it's interesting to see how Anaheim is performing where they win against Colorado on like one time uh, success or can they steadily improve their performance from the previous years and maybe even um, be contender for the playoff uh, spots in, in the West division where basically three teams are higher than others and then the fourth spot may be up for the grabs for surprise team. Yeah, Anaheim has the uh, the goaltending and the defense to actually uh, compete in the West. It's the goal scoring again, and of course the young players uh, need to step up to take their uh, they the fit in the bigger shoes that uh, have been left by Corey Perry's and uh, Bobby Ryan's and the like who left. So uh, there is Ryan Gesloff still, but that's about it. So a lot of a uh, lot of uh, steps to be taken by the young guys. The goaltending is there, the defense is there. So. Uh, uh, remains to be seen if they can actually compete. We'll uh, take a look of that game as well, but um, it's um, time for for a long night of hockey again. And um, it's good that uh, we have a few picks that are spread out, that um, the interest remains um, all the way from 2 a.m. until uh, 7 a.m. here in Finland. Yeah, it's a good stuff to do at night is watch NHL ice hockey. Nothing else to do. We'll continue this one tomorrow. Let's do that.